What's so pro about this tablet? Is it its screen, its performance, or its features? This is the Huawei MatePad Pro 11, and here's my experience with it so far to help you figure out if this is the right tablet for you. I'm gonna kick things off with my favorite feature on the Pro 11, its display. The screen size, you might have guessed it's at 11 inches. The resolution is WQXGA. And the screen to body ratio is at 92%, so those bezels are pretty thin for a tablet. But the best thing about it is that they're using an OLED display, so colors look really good. Plus, Huawei claims that it's extremely color accurate as well, with less than one Delta E. So I really enjoyed using this for either work or play. Bonus, it also has an awesome set of speakers. And here's a sound test, so you can kind of hear what I'm talking about. Let's move on to build quality and design. Honestly, I don't think there's a lot any of the brands can do to differentiate themselves with a slab of tech that is a tablet. But what I do appreciate with the MatePad Pro 11 is that it's only 5.9 millimeters thin. Real talk, that isn't much of a difference from the iPad that I'm using, but it will offset the overall thickness of the device, especially once you slap on the folio case, because let's face it, a good majority of us will be using the case on day one, and it will live in that case until we decide to give away or resell the tablet. Before you put on that case though, make sure you admire the finish on the MatePad Pro 11 because it does feel really good. Speaking of that folio case, it does break down into three sections, the keyboard, rear cover, and the pen holder. The modularity is great because you can separate the keyboard to make things a bit lighter, but I do wish that the magnet for the pen holder was a bit stronger because I know myself and I might end up misplacing that pen. But bonus, the keyboard attachment apparently has an antenna that acts like a Wi-Fi booster that our editor-in-chief for the website John was able to test out and he did notice a difference. And despite being a tad small, the typing experience on this keyboard is fantastic. In fact, I used it to write the entire script for this video. The only thing I wish it had was some backlighting for times that you have to work at night, but that's not a deal breaker. As for the M Pen, I have to be honest, aside from using it to sign documents, I didn't use it all that much. So if you're looking to use this more creatively, I suggest seeking out more content specific to that. In terms of internals, remember we're only getting the Wi-Fi enabled version of the MatePad Pro 11, which is equipped with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. And for someone like me who needs a tablet that's more productivity focused, that provides enough power, but I was able to edit some videos on CapCut using the MatePad Pro 11 and it did really well. Speaking of which, I'm sure we're all pretty much adjusted to using the combination of Huawei App Gallery and Petal Search, so I was able to get easy access to all the tools and apps I needed to use this tablet pretty much like a laptop. And just a reminder, if you're full on team Huawei, this is a super device, so you can pair this with the Huawei P50, for example, for multi-screen collaboration, easier transfer of files, plus you can control your phone directly from the tablet itself. As for the cameras, the Huawei MatePad Pro 11 is equipped with a total of three, two on the back and one in the front for video calls. But let's be honest, I didn't use the rear cameras all that much, but here are some snaps in case you wanna see what they look like. But in terms of video calls, here's a quick sample from the front camera. So you can kind of hear what the mics sound like as well. Hey guys, so here's a quick video sample from the front camera of the Huawei MatePad Pro 11. Let me know how it sounds and how it looks in the comment section. In terms of battery, this tablet is equipped with an 8300 milliamp hour cell and it supports 66 watt charging. Huawei advertises this tablet to have 11.5 hours of battery life, but in our benchmark, it was more around eight hours and a half. That's still not bad considering the screen size and refresh rate of this device. Let's get to the big question. How much is the Huawei MatePad Pro 11? The price has been set to just below 42,000 pesos or 41,999 to be exact. And I think that's gonna be one of the biggest hurdles for this tablet. But Huawei is trying to sweeten the pot by including the detachable keyboard for free that costs nearly 7,000 pesos. 
It is very versatile though. It has a gorgeous display, no doubt. It's great for multitasking. And again, it's part of Huawei's super device line. So easy integration with the rest of their products if you're within the ecosystem. But is that enough for you to consider this pro tablet? Let me know in the comment section.